Hello my lovelies, it's Emmy. Welcome back to another You Made What. Today's recipe is a perfect summertime treat. It is for do-it-yourself ice cream mochi. So if you don't know what ice cream mochi is, it's basically a small ball of ice cream that is coated in mochi, which is a pounded sweet rice confection that's very popular in Japan. So you get this kind of chewy, sticky mochi on the outside and beautifully cold ice cream in the middle. A beautiful dessert that you can actually find here in the US but it's a little bit harder to find and it's quite expensive so today I'll show you how to make it quite simply at home and yes I should mention that this recipe was adapted from my friends cooking with dog who have a beautiful channel here on YouTube if you don't know them they are marvelous Francis and chef have really great beautifully made videos all about authentic Japanese cooking so yeah be sure to show them some love if you don't know them already I love them they're one of the first channels I ever subscribed to they're great and if you like these fun recipe experiments be sure to subscribe for more making. All right, let's go ahead and get started. So we're gonna begin by shaping our ice cream. So get yourself a small ice cream scoop and pack in your ice cream. You wanna make sure you pack this in really tightly so you can avoid any air bubbles. Because I wanted my mochi to sit nicely on a plate, I decided to form these into little hemispheres. So they have a nice flat bottom. Place your scoops into a little silicone cups or even paper cups, something that you can easily peel away from your ice cream when you're ready to shape your mochi. Then pop these bad boys into the freezer and allow them to freeze completely. So first we're going to add 75 grams of mochiko, which is sweet rice powder. Next we're going to add 100 grams of granulated sugar. Give this a whisk and then add 100 milliliters of water and blend that all up until there are no lumps and the sugar is completely dissolved. Next, we're gonna wrap this with a little bit of plastic wrap and place in a 600 watt microwave oven for two minutes. If your microwave wattage is higher, you can try using the defrost setting. While the mochi is in the microwave, take a cookie sheet and generously dust it with a layer of potato starch, or you can also use cornstarch. After two minutes, give your mochi dough a stir Replace the plastic wrap and microwave for an additional 40 seconds. After 40 seconds, your dough should look something like this, nice and shiny and much more dough-like. Whip up the dough to make sure everything is well incorporated, then turn it out onto your potato starch coated cookie sheet. Then dust the top of the mochi with more starch and use your fingers to press the hot dough out into a 6 by 12 inch rectangle. I actually formed mine a little bit bigger because my ice cream scoop was slightly larger. Once you have your rectangle formed, place it into the refrigerator and allow it to chill for 30 minutes. Next, we're gonna cut it into eight equal pieces. To separate our mochi squares, we're gonna use some plastic wrap in between every layer. Then use a spatula to scrape up a mochi square and dust off the excess starch. Then place another layer of plastic wrap, and then continue doing this, sandwiching each layer of mochi with a piece of plastic wrap. Return these to the freezer and allow them to chill for at least 30 minutes and up to an hour. When you're ready to assemble everything, get your ice cream balls out of the freezer along with your mochi wrappers. I found using a mini cupcake tray really helpful in terms of shaping and holding the mochi. Use a piece of plastic wrap and put it into a well of a muffin tin. Then place a square of mochi in there and kind of press it down. Then working quickly, peel the paper off your ball of ice cream and place the ice cream rounded side down. Then flip each corner of the mochi, being careful to pinch the edges together so the mochi sticks together and wraps your little ball of ice cream. Then cover the whole thing in plastic wrap. and I found inverting it was a really good way to keep the nice round shape. Now return this all into the freezer and allow it to sit at least an hour before serving. And there you go, cute, adorable ice cream mochi. All right, so that's how you make the ice cream mochi. Now let's do the fun part and give it a taste. Okay, let's grab this one first. I'm gonna do this quickly because the ice cream is going to melt. Unwrap the mochi. On initial look, they look just like the ones that you can buy. Yeah, nice and frozen and a little bit dusty. And we'll give this a slice. And there it is. Perfection, if I do say so myself. 
All right, so let's give little Miss Strawberry a taste. She looks great. And it's nice and frozen solid. All right, here we go. Eat the ducky Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mm hmm. Really nice. The mochi is soft, slightly chewy, and the ice cream is deliciously creamy and strawberry and fantastic. Love it. Really great summertime treat. So I think my little ice cream balls are a little bit bigger than the ones that Francis and Chef showed. So my mochi layer is a little bit thinner. If you like a thicker chew and more mochi, I would suggest using a little bit smaller scoop. But for me, this is perfect. Let's try green tea next, which is my favorite. So here is the matcha. Wrap it. There he is. Cut that one. And that one turned out equally beautiful. So give that a cut. Hmm. So good. Ice cream is slightly bitter. The mochi again is sweet and chewy. And it's just a cool, refreshing, delightful dessert. Love that. That one definitely so far is my favorite. Last one we have is mango. According to Francis and Chef, this is a very popular flavor as well. So let's, let's try that one. Mm -hmm. mm. That one has a really intense mango flavor because it is sorbet. It doesn't have that milk in there that kind of can mask some of those fruity flavors. Delicious. So that's how you make a beautiful summertime dessert. Let me know in the comments below if you attempt this or have any other recipes that you recommend for summer because I am open to recommendations because it is starting to get hot. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy that. I hope you guys learned something. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and I shall see you in my next video. Toodaloo. Take care. Bye. Next, we have Challenger Giant. <laughs> So here is giant pokey and you get a sense of scale with this, how much bigger that these sticks are. 